generate software from a single prompt. And I'm not talking about, you know, to-do list apps or snake games. I'm talking about real app you can go to market with. Um, super excited to introduce you all to Marbleism. Right now on our site, we're going to make um, a pool sharing marketplace like Airbnb. Generate my code base. And so let's call it uh, SwimBNB. It's going to be um, a marketplace, light mode, and click next. Now it's generating all the tables in my application. We're just going to accept everything Post looks that. pretty good we have the reviews the pools the bookings click next and now it's going to generate all the pages in my application um so same thing we're going to click next we just want to see our oh that's app pretty live. cool did you see that you get to like approve all the pages uh, so like they have a list of all the pages it's going to create and it seems like you can edit them and approve them that's very cool thing we're going to click next we just want to see our app live um we click go to your app because it's deployed uh, on the cloud, so you get- Deploys it as well, very you, nice. Um, with a test account, so I can sign in now, and this is it, this is our app. So yeah, let's see if it works. So we're gonna try to book a pool. Yeah, we can see a map on the right, wow, and the list wow, of wow, pools. So it looks images. pretty good, like pretty good result. A real map? Play around with the map. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's that. try to find um, a good pool to book. Is that real? That first um, Okay, this one real. looks good with a swim bar. That's in your in your life. Um, the address can iterate. We should try something. What's this called? It's Marbleism. M A R B L. <laughs> Sorry, M A R B L I S M. Marbleism. I want to do one I did with Fedora. Airbnb for dog kennels. I'm surprised. Like I haven't seen anyone talk about this app. I can't remember where I came across it, but kennel B N B. Project type, marketplace, Airbnb for dog kennels. We're going to go light mode, frigate. They give you 100 marbles to start off with. And it costs 50 marbles to make this site. Pretty good. So I can make two, three free sites. I don't know, like it'd be really good if they allow feedback and further editing. I don't know if that's true. What's, uh, oh, cool. They make user stories. You want to list... The available dog kennels, upload images with details of my dog, search for kennels by location. Sounds good. You're welcome, Joker. Thanks for the follow. It's generating the database schema for my dog kennel BNB. Okay. Um, yeah, we got the database. That's pretty sick. So you can go through and like edit the database, change something. It even tells you like which one's a primary key and stuff. But we're just going to leave it. And then I think the next one was the pages. So it tells you which pages it's going to create. And okay, 14 pages suggested for the dog kennel, login, register, reset password, notifications, profile kennels, search kennels, kennel details, my dogs, add dog, my dogs again. Yeah, let's delete my dogs. And we'll delete add dogs because we want add dogs in the my dogs. <laughs> There's two my bookings as well. Bookings, king. This is ID. Yeah, we'll delete these two as well. My dog is my booking. It's nice and simple. Next. Looks very cool. Yeah, I'm really liking this user interface for sure. Oh, it's ready. Look at that. That was under 10 minutes. We have the dog kennel BNB. Even made a logo. Let's launch the preview. They even give you a code editor, an online code editor. Um, and you can invite yourself to the code base. Oh no, they still haven't deployed it. But if I add my username. Whoa, you have access to the code base. Crazy. How cool is that? That's cool. I haven't seen any other project give you access to a private GitHub from a prompt to generate a website. That's really sick. Let's have a look at the code. There's a web and a server. Looks like it's some kind of JavaScript Next.js. Excellent. That is my preferred framework. And the back end is, looks like it's still some kind of JavaScript. Probably no JS Express. Bootstrap. Man's got bootstrap. Very cool. Can it also deploy? Yes, top rack. It is deploying right now. May take up to five minutes. Uh, yeah, and you can either edit in their code browser. I don't know where this goes. Let's click it. We'll find out. 
This may take up to one minute, so it deploys your own code browser. Docker is a container, isn't it? Yeah, blood. That's why it's so powerful, because it works on any system, in it? Just Dockerize the container still. Oh, our app is deployed. You ready? I'm excited. Oh, you can give it feedback. Awesome. Change the title to Hello World. Oh my god, it's just black. <laughs> Why is it just black? How would you rate your generated app one star? It's just a black screen. Oh wait, it just loaded. Maybe I had to wait. <laughs> okay, it just loaded. Guess looks like I had to wait. Okay, I had to sign in. So okay, it took a while to load and I Accidentally gave it one star a bit too early. Sick. Welcome to Marbleism. Okay, I guess that's just their default landing page, default account. And go kennels. Oh no, here we go. It's just a bit slow. It's just very slow. Browse kennels. Placeholder images, that's fine. Cool. Little tiled view of kennels. Search kennels. Bit some time because it's slow. Okay, I'm gonna search. Go San Francisco. My bookings. Not too impressed, but I do like the fact, I do like a lot of things about it. I like how it gave us the UI. I mean, sorry, it gave us the code. I like how it deployed it. Uh, I like that it's full stack, and I like that it can take feedback. And those are all very important. Those are actually more important than it looking good first try. Because we can give it feedback now, hopefully, and be like, add a dark mode switch. I don't know, this is semi-complex. GPT engineer was able to do this. Can Marbleism do this? It's a good foundation, exactly, Joker. It's like, compare, it would probably save most people time. But not everyone. Some people would probably get to this stage faster. Ah, uh, sweet. Look, it gives feedback just like GPT Engineer. I really like that. Let's see if it can implement this toggle, dark mode toggle. Okay, it's made a plan. I think it's going to code it now. Um, okay, so the feedback actually takes a long time. I'm not sure if it's just stuck in a loop. Oh, running checks on the code. That's good. That's progress. It is waiting on this marbleism thing to edit my website. Pause and relax. Pause and relax. That's actually a good name. I finally re realized what that means. And if you're really nice, you can donate to me with this donate PayPal button. <laughs> Minimum $10 million. Oh, you can donate as much as you want. I uh, gave it some feedback to add a dark mode toggle switch. Um, and we've been waiting for at least 10 minutes. I don't know if it's still working. There is this spinner, but I kind of think that it's kind of not working. So uh, I've reached the point where I'm ready to give up. I'm going to refresh this just to double check. And if there's nothing changed, I think I might end the stream. Uh, your code base has been updated. Oh. Okay, so apparently the code base has been updated. I don't see a dark mode toggle switch anywhere though. All right, still pretty cool. I like a lot of the ideas that this um, Marbleism is doing, but obviously we need a long way to go and it didn't like amaze me. So yeah, anyway guys, I hope you liked this stream. See y'all later.